You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. A very good evening. His Royal Highness, the Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met Al Ghadabiya Palace today with His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Deputy of His Majesty the King offered condolences to His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, on the demise of his advisor for industrial and oil affairs, Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa. He recalled the contributions of the late Sheikh Isa bin Ali in the fields of Bahrain's economic and industrial development. The meeting also discussed national and regional issues. In this regard, their Royal Highnesses commended the tremendous efforts of His Majesty the King to reinforce relations with all countries of the world. They highlighted that critical regional international security and economic status require unifying goals and exerting more efforts to ensure the security and stability of the world. His Royal Highness the Deputy of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister pointed out the threat of terrorism which jeopardizes security and stability, confirming that terrorism and extremism are not limited to a certain ideology. They stress the importance they stress the importance of shedding light on the tolerance and moderation of Islam which does not support violence nor terrorism. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the Ghadabiya Palace today. The Chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, the Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, and a number of MPs in the presence of the former Speaker of the Representatives Council, Khalifa al Dahrani, and several senior state officials. The audience offered His Royal Highness their condolences on the demise of the Prime Minister's advisor for industrial and oil affairs, Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Premier expressed thanks and appreciation to the audience for their noble sentiments recalling the contributions of the deceased and the development of the kingdom. He highlighted Bahrain's one family spirit and cohesion among all segments of the society, stressing the necessity of preserving the atmosphere of tolerance and coexistence. His Royal Highness said that the spread of terrorism has caused a state of tension, calling for caution and strict procedures against whoever aims to destabilize the security of the homeland.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the regular cabinet meeting at Arabia Palace. His Royal Highness paid tribute to the services of his late advisor, His Royal Highness for Industrial and Oil Affairs, Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa. The cabinet highlighted His Majesty the King's participation in the fourth summit of Arab South American countries, recently held in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, which was chaired by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The cabinet praised the summit's emphasis on supporting Arab and Muslim causes, continued collaboration to resolve security challenges, and the importance of strengthening economic and trade cooperation between Arab and South American countries. The cabinet strongly condemned the heinous terrorist attacks that took place recently in Lebanon and Paris, and emphasized the importance of combating terrorism in all its forms. The cabinet also highlighted the kingdom's commitment to support all measures taken by these countries to reinforce security and stability. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the Ministry of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning to coordinate with the relevant authorities to ensure that public facilities are not misused and are utilized to maximum effect. He also pointed out the importance of delivering comprehensive health care services to the Kingdom's citizens, as well as increasing funds allocated for the Treatment Abroad program. The Prime Minister directed the Ministry of Health to study alternative options for treatment abroad and the possibility of providing the same level of health services in the Kingdom. The Cabinet approved a memorandum regarding a draft decision on imposing a cap on roaming rates across the GCC to include roaming for voice calls, SMS and data services. The meeting referred a memorandum regarding veterinarian and agricultural services fees to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. The meeting also reviewed a memorandum regarding the restructuring of the National Committee for the Unified Purchase of Medicines and Medical Supplies. It took note of a memorandum regarding the outcomes of the joint meeting of the Committee on Financial and Economic Cooperation, the Governors of Monetary Institutions, the Central Bank and the General Manager of the International Monetary Fund held recently in Qatar. The Cabinet also reviewed the third quarter unemployment report, which highlighted a total fall from 3.3% to 3.1%, indicating stability in the labor market and noting that beneficiaries of insurance against unemployment decreased by 6% within the three months period and the number of persons entitled to compensation dropped by 31%. The meeting approved a memorandum regarding an aviation agreement between the government of Bahrain and the government of Georgia. The Cabinet meeting reviewed a memorandum regarding preparations to host the 4th Bahrain International Air Show from the 21st to the 23rd of January 2016. It also took note of a number of draft proposals by the Legislative Authority. Following the Cabinet meeting, the Minister of Information Affairs and Shura and Representative Council Affairs, Reis Al Hamadi, held a press conference highlighting what has been discussed during the meeting. Addressing reporters, the Minister confirmed the government's commitment to preserve public properties and funds for protecting public facilities from misuse. In regards to food security, the Minister said that the government pays great attention to the subject, saying the coordination is ongoing to complete the project of Bahrain-owned land in Sudan. When asked about reducing annual funds allocated for medical treatment abroad, the Minister said new mechanisms will be created to compensate increasing the number of visiting doctors and coordinating to provide more therapeutic services locally. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, expressed the condolences of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to the French Republic's leadership, government, and people over the victims of the heinous terrorist acts that recently took place in the French capital, Paris, and resulted in the death of a number of innocent victims. During a visit to the Embassy of the French Republic and the Kingdom of Bahrain to offer the condolences over the victims of the terrorist act, the Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed the Kingdom's solidarity with France and its people during this ordeal. He said that the heinous acts of terrorism that took place in Paris are not accepted by custom or religion, nor morals or conscience, which highlights the necessity of developing mechanisms in order to combat the rapid spread of such crimes. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the whole world is currently undergoing a difficult juncture and faces more serious challenges that require exerting further efforts and adopting effective strategies to eradicate the phenomena of terrorism from its roots. The ambassador of the French Republic to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Bernard Ragnaud Fab, 
expressed his appreciation for the solidarity of His Majesty the King, the Kingdom's government and people with France, as well as the sincere sentiments of the Minister of Foreign Affairs and his keenness to offer his condolences. He affirmed the strong ties between the two countries and their keenness to bolster these relations in various fields to achieve joint interests. Under the patronage of the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa Cultural Center, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, the Religious and Sectarian Tolerance History in Bahrain Conference kicked off on Monday morning, with the participation of different religious and political figures in the Kingdom. More details in this report with Mohammed Shaban. Bahrainis of different faiths came together to celebrate the International Day for Tolerance on Monday morning under the umbrella of the Religious and Sectarian History in Bahrain Conference. The summit comes to underscore Bahrain's diverse society and tolerant coexistence throughout the years. Since centuries, our Hindu community is residing in Bahrain. And since then, we have our temple in Manama, which is located in the heart of Bahrain. And the complete nearby area has mosques, matams, churches, Jewish synagogue. And since then, until today, we have seen that Bahrain is an example to the entire world of the tolerance and the coexistence. The two-day meeting involves a number of panel sessions that will discuss work by different religious leaders in Bahrain, highlighting their community's historical experiences of coexistence within the Bahraini society. My topic today will be about the history of the Jewish community of Bahrain and I have a presentation here and our main objective is to hope that all the audience uh, present today have a deeper understanding about how important uh, living together regardless of our religious differences is, uh, how important it is to have uh, respect and mutual feelings of brotherhood that we've all been brought up on uh, as part of our tradition and our culture here in this wonderful country. The conference kicked off with a minute of silence for all the victims of terrorism and hate, with a hopeful notion that this relatively small gathering of peace will be able to spread its message to the world. This gathering today, I hope, as I said in my speech to them, that we should not think that we are just few in numbers. All the great changes of this world has started with the few of the few to recorrect the masses. I hope that the embassies, the foreign embassies in Bahrain, they will be reporting back to their countries that what Bahrain society is doing, their participation, their feelings, their condemnation of such criminal acts which is taking place in Europe or anywhere else. Whether Muslim, Christian, Jewish or Hindu, the message today was, it is our tolerant and diverse social fabric in Bahrain that led to our present and future prosperity as a society and a nation. In these sad times where violent extremism continues to claim innocent lives in different parts of the world, Bahrain, both leadership and people with their different religions and sects, take a stand for coexistence and peace. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs under Secretary Abdullah Abdel Latif Abdullah attended a ceremony held by the Palestinian Embassy in the Kingdom of Bahrain on the occasion of the 27th anniversary of the Declaration of Palestine's Independence. He affirmed the right of the Palestinians to establish their own state based on the 1967 borders with East Jerusalem as its capital and marked the historic event and re recent achievements of Palestine including joining the UNESCO and raising the Palestinian flag in the UN. The Foreign Ministry Undersecretary stressed the keenness of Bahrain and the GCC to affirm the right of the Palestinians in all international forums, especially in the 4th Arab South America Summit that was held recently in Saudi Arabia. The Palestinian Ambassador to Bahrain, Taha Abdel Qadir, expressed appreciation to the leadership of the Kingdom of Bahrain for their brave stances and continuous support. He also expressed appreciation to the Foreign Minister, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, for his efforts in continuous communication and support at various global and regional forums.
And now we we'll turn to Barat with the latest business news. Thank you, Sharia. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain TV. Temkin has announced it has opened the nominations for the second edition of the Bahrain Award for Entrepreneurship, which is held under the patronage of the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and the first Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The award aims to create an integrated environment, encourage individuals to turn their ideas into the developmental work, in addition to the development of entrepreneurial ideas, and make it solid basis for the development of the national economy. The Bahrain All Share Index closed today at 1,218.87 points, a decrease of 2.40 points below yesterday's closing. The fall was due to the commercial banks, services, and industrial sectors. Investors traded mainly in the commercial bank sector, representing 69% of the total value of shares traded. Results indicated that 78 equity transactions took place with a volume of 3,063,749 shares, worth the value of 232,791 Bahraini dinars. Now here's Fatma with the latest sports news. Thank you, Shadia. A very good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain Television. The team of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa for Mixed Martial Arts, KHK MMA, arrived in Birmingham to represent the Kingdom of Bahrain in the European International MMA Open Championship for Amateurs. The championship begins on Thursday and continues until Sunday, November 22nd. Medical checkups will be conducted tomorrow as referee's seminar will be held to familiarize with the details of martial arts. The Bahrain Olympic Committee BOC celebrated the International Olympic Committee's Women and Sports Award, which was won by Sheikha Hayat bin Abdulaziz Al Khalifa recently. Sheikha Hayat, member of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and BOC and chairwoman, chairwoman of the Women's Sports Committee, has won the 2015 edition of the IOC Women and Sports Award for Asia, which was presented by IOC President Thomas Bach at a special ceremony held at the IOC premises in Switzerland. BOC's ceremony was attended by its General Sector Secretary Abdurrahman Asker and Board Members Dr. Khalid Al-Alawi, Ali Isa, Abdul Hakim El-Shanu and a delegation from the UAE.